Dimp Digital presents Idle Game Chat. Hello, Apps here from Dimp Digital. Welcome to Idle Game Chat. This is the weekly video games podcast where we give our impressions of the games that you can play today and react to the latest news from the wonderful world of video games. We're here every Monday. We're here every Monday on your favourite podcast app and YouTube, absolutely free. This week, I am joined by the free-time Dimp Digital Gaming Quiz Champion, Mr. Tom Atkins. Like, cool. How's it going? Back from the dead. Back after <laughs> Easter break, and then actually next week, I think it's another bank holiday, so it's feet, it really? oh. so it's feet up again. Cool, beautiful. yeah, May Day. So we will be there'll be a classic episode in the feed for you, lovely people. Not a live one, um, cool. and there'll be another one in May as well. So Terrible. two two weeks off, people are getting stung out of their dimp content. And I say, well, if you want more, put and in pocket. Go to twitch.tv slash dimp digital. Subscribe to the channel there. You get this live as it goes up as we do it, or patreon.com forward slash idle game chat. And then you can uh, request that we do more shows, and even if there is a bank holiday, and we'll probably refuse that, to be quite <laughs> honest. Um, it's been a little while since we had you on. Cool, yeah. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking, well, Atkins ain't been on for, for three weeks or so, or whatever it is. He's going to come back with loads of games that he's been playing. I bet he's been playing the bollocks out of his PS5 and his Series X <laughs> and his, his Switch and his PC. That's what we've given him a break for. But I'm yeah. hearing that's not what's happened. You've been snarled up in a, in a TV show. I have. I have played 100 hours of game, Min. Right. On one game. <laughs> And that is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yes. I've, I've basically been living like a Viking for the last four weeks. <laughs> and I've managed to absolute fucking blow through all six seasons of the the TV show Vikings as well. How many Literally, episodes is that? Because it like gets 90, silly, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like the last three seasons are 20 episodes each. Oh, let me just get that wiki. I think it's 90 odd. which are, They're only about 45 minutes long. But so it's probably I don't know eighty odd hours. Yeah, listen, that maybe Vikings TV. Um, so yeah, and that was that was breaknecked. That was well, this the one. No, this ain't the one. What is two shows called Vikings? Yeah, what the fuck? oh here we go. Oh, this is history. They're eighty nine, eighty nine episodes. So yeah, maybe fuck seventy odd, now. seventy odd hours, and I managed to absolutely yeah, <laughs> there's some made up maths, but. Yeah, so that is literally, I've done nothing but watch that show and then play Vic, uh, play Valhalla. Which is Vikings, the game, basically. Vikings, yeah, it essentially is. Which is annoying, though, because I probably played about, I don't know, maybe 60% of that game before watching this hmm. Vikings TV show. So I had no pre-knowledge of the Viking history. And then... Yeah, six percent away in. I'm like, right, all these characters from this game, film, TV series are in this fucking game, right? I'm gonna are they reset. actually? Is it pretty? Yeah. Well, it it it's it's not point on point. It's set after. Lots of so, uh, so there's crisscrossing, but yeah, yeah they can tell it, who's who sometimes. I guess exactly. Yeah, that. interesting. That's because I obviously I'll finish Valhalla and I was, I've watched season one of Vikings and I'll finish it off probably later this year. Um, so it'd be interesting to see where, incredible. when Fucking I spot incredible. those characters. Um, so you ain't, you've been playing a bit of bit of Valhalla. High level yeah. thoughts? Good, bad, indifferent? Yeah, big I, boy. To honest, yeah, to be honest, like it's it's too fucking long. It's too mm. long. But I did really enjoy it. I, I don't might. I don't like two and I really like two and four. Yeah. Certainly since them, it's the best I think out of the lot. Since out they of, changed, to, yeah. Since. Yeah, that it's one of the better ones. Um, Definitely, I think. Anyway, so it is, there's a lot of repetitiveness in the, you know, just the clearing down the the part sections of England and whatnot. But Early country, yeah, it's just it's just fun to go around and just a decent environment. And yeah, the story is good. Yeah, uh, no level game, which was our biggest problem of Odyssey. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's all round thumbs up to me. It's just too long, 
Um, if it would have cut some of the fat off, it could have been the perfect creed. Mm. Um, but yeah, very enjoyable. Probably like normally I couldn't give a shit about the DLC, but it's actually got me sniffing. Yeah, a um, bit. But yeah, just that Viking setting is very good. It sort of lends really well to the the Creed line. Yeah, it's it's good. It's, it's certainly, Here in, certainly since the Origins kind of departure, they went in a bit of a different direction. But that's the best one. No, nah. Valhalla is anyway. But then before that, it's probably going back to Black Flag. But you know what? I think if I played Black Flag now. Went back. It's quite a different style of game then, with the combat exactly, and whatnot. Yeah, combat, the might, story might yeah. struggle. Mm. Don't know. Be interesting. Well, funny enough, Yellow Boots has been playing through Unity, which he really likes. Yeah. Uh, so, and I had a go on that. Fuck me, I was dreadful. Really, <laughs> I got my ass up just because it's so. Yeah, the Unity, the worst, probably the worst, maybe the worst one. Has he played be. any others, Yellow Boots? Yeah, he played. He pl- the first one he ever played was Syndicate, and he thought that was amazing. Right. He went from Syndicate to um, two. Then he played through two, and then he went to Unity. Uh, no, four. No, he went to four actually, and then he got stuck on the ship. He couldn't really deal with the ships, so I had to go around there to help him get through that. And <laughs> again, I was like, "Fucking hell, what is this?" And then, yeah, then recently I. Found like Unity for like a pound on CD keys, and he bought that, and he played that to completion. He loved it. Jesus, I was like, right? Well, so yeah, that is the sort of battle of, <laughs> of to it. But yeah, just going back to that old, almost like Batman Arkham uh, Knights combat, wasn't it? That sort of free flow combat. Yeah, um, don't know. It's very different, but yeah, it's, it's it's less of an RPG. Like this, this game lends it so much like uh, Witcher. Mm. these days now it's a more rpg big open world i mean they've always been open world but it just feels like a a more living world and you can interact with rather than it was just go here go there it's even though it's an open world it felt very linear in the older games i felt yeah um but yeah no Valhalla very good um very long but yeah get on it fucking get get viking drink get, get viking. rape pillage that's all I've been doing. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> can't, be, that can't be a healthy lifestyle, that's yeah. for sure. It's um, not. So this is our, I guess, the gaming hype list check-in episode. Cool. So those that can remember as far back as January, um, actually, it was, I think it was the first show of the year. It would have been. Cool. Um, we did a hype list of twenty games that were coming out. Well, they weren't all. I don't think. That I think actually, all of them at some point were scheduled for twenty twenty one. But we didn't make a hard and fast rule and say it has to be this year. This is, this is a, a list that will live on over the years. So we put together and ranked the twenty games that we're most looking forward to. Um, so we're going to revisit that because some of the games have come out. Uh, I think we added on Monster Hunter Rise in in February yeah, right. after after yeah. we'd got through Iceborne and whatnot. Um, and we had a couple of games that came out. So there's one space left if we cool. leave what's on there um, still alive. Uh, and then we can obviously reformat and, and change things. But as we are, here is the rundown of the list. Top of the block, God of War Ragnarok. Now, it ain't coming in a month for Sundays, but <laughs> it's still top of the block because of the pedigree. That's what we decided back in January. Then we got Horizon Forbidden West. Then we got Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8. I don't know which one it's called. I don't know if it's called 8 Village or Village 8 or just called Village. Someone please find that out for me. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Gotham Knights, that was you. Um, yeah. Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> Final Fantasy 16. Monster Hunter Rise, which is which is out now. So actually, just Cut look at that. Out. That's got to come out. So that's actually two new games we've got to put on. Cool. Which could cost. Senua Saga, Hellblade 2, Dying Light 2, Avowed, Far Cry 6, another Adkins Initiative, Halo Infinite, Hogwarts Legacy, Beyond Good and Evil 2, The Callisto Protocol, Fable, and then Kenner Bridge of Spirits. So, not a terrible list, I don't think. No. no. Um, There's been a few changes, I think, and a few bits and pieces that might that might drop off but given what we've got there is there any before we add anything mm. are we happy with say the top 
five even. Is is God of War still the big daddy? Is Horizon yeah. still second? And Resident Evil third? And Ratchet fourth? Yeah, well, we were talking about this off air, discussing whether to take off games that have been delayed from this year. Mm. But we came to a good conclusion that no, we won't, because hype will still be at a high. However, they will drop. So I'm happy with the top five. Yeah. Um, Six, however, though, is Gotham Knights, which we do know has been delayed yes. till next year. So that being in mind, yeah, as much as I still am hyped for it, the fact that I know I ain't getting it for another, like, you know, even if it comes out January, so I still ain't getting it for another sort of fucking, what, eight months? Mm. Um, yeah. So the hype does drop down for me for that. But top five, yeah, that's fine. Provide, like, obviously, providing they're all coming out this year, which I doubt they are. Yeah. But certainly, we're around the corner from um, Resident Evil. There's been nothing about Ratchet, which, so that's due on course and Mass Effect right around the corner as well so yeah, yeah top five happy as and in those positions as well yeah I'd say I've called off I think I said to you I called off on Mass Effect Legendary Edition a little bit oh really bit. and oh, I've got that. it's really because I I don't think I'm going to get it day one anymore god no in a shock system well one thing is that May could potentially have Two, three good releases, which we haven't we haven't been spoilt with for mm. for a long time. Um, Resident Evil Eight or Resident Evil Village is almost a lock at this stage, providing nothing goes terribly wrong. Although the de- way they've done the demo oh, on, on the timings, I'm tempted to fucking strike it off a list. If I'm honest, banish them. You explain to them what they've done, because I still don't know if I can play it or not. I've missed right, the well, first one. I missed the first one too. So they. Bloody hell. I think, as far as I'm aware, there is. PlayStation exclusive demos. There's two demos. One you play in a little section of the village and one of the castle. And what they've done is they've limited those to half hour play times yes. in a what in a twenty four no forty eight hour window. <laughs> <laughs> so Yes, yeah, so I think as of yesterday, you could play the second demo, which is Castle, which is the castle demo yeah. for half an hour. But you have to have a PS5, yes. and you have to play it on these days. You can't install it and play it sun, uh, tomorrow. That goes. It'll it'll be gone. Be By the time this podcast airs, it'll be gone. Is that? Is it really? I know there's a random time. I think so, yeah. I, missed the, I've, I haven't played the second one either, so I'm right. But then in on the first, I think, first to the second of May next week then there'll be you can play both of the demos for an hour long yeah but you can only choose one sex you can only play (laughs) so you have to i like this is this is worse than the the nintendo splatoon set hours it is so fucking shy yeah it's an odd i don't get what they're doing like i get that they've got like not an exclusivity deal, but you get these sort of favoured deals. I feel like mm. Assassin's Creed have it with Xbox. Yeah. It's these sort of, you know, backdoor bandit. Little, little, mar- <laughs> little marketing job. Marketing they deal. Say, oh, so, we'll give you, we'll sling you a couple of meal. We'll have the demo. Yeah. It'll be PlayStation logos whenever the trailer's air on the internet or on the telly. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. And then that's, that's what it. you get. I, mean, so, I don't know who came up with this timing bollocks though. No. So I shot. feel that like they this is what's happened. They've gone right. PlayStation have got this little market deal. We need to sort them out. Let's give them a, a demo, but what's, the fans are going to kick off. So they've gone right. Let's make it a fucking mental <laughs> a shit demo. I don't know, but some idiot. Fuck it. Is it is Jack and this is old. Um, what's his name? Ian. No, not Ian. What is it? Who's that? Who's that marketing bloke? <laughs> oh, Alan. Yeah, Ashton. this is sorry. Yeah, this is classic Alan tactics. Classic right? Alan tactics. Not Ian. In, be, yeah, not Ian. <laughs> Ian was sacked long ago when the launched the PS3. Alan got installed after that stage. But yeah, this is classic Alan. Unfortunately, he comes up with these harebrained schemes and, and laughs. I mean, not being funny, it feels like it's built a bit of hype. People are talking a lot about Resident Evil, but I just want to play the fucking demo. And I missed it. And then I was like, oh, I don't want to play the second one, not the first one. Then I thought that you could play both 
in this right. this next time. No. But you're saying you can only spend an hour in one. And I've heard that both of them can be can be completed in like ten minutes. Yeah. If you know what you're doing. So why do you need an hour? I, yeah, I don't know, but yeah, you have to I'm pretty certain that's the that's what that is the truth, that you have to decide which one you're gonna play and you can't you can't mix and match. Oh, um, disgraceful. Looking on, I've watched both demos now, and I, if you're going to play the vintage one, that seems to be the better. Especially yeah. if you've already played that walkthrough to yeah that we got. It's a nice visual one, so I'd go vintage. There's a bit more, a bit more bollards to it. You can you can do more stuff, but yeah, it's weird. And also, like if also I noticed as well, if you you get half hour. And then if you can complete the demo, and say yeah. you complete like 19 minutes, then you'll get like an extra 11 minutes to go back through it again. <laughs> and it'll just shut off like where. If you die, does it end? Is it like the Resident Evil 2 uh, demo where it was like one I don't... shot? That's a good point, actually. I haven't seen anyone die. Uh, it could be interesting, though, because call out. Imagine that, just the first. It locks your <laughs> first account time. out of it. Yeah, Knowing them, fun. it'll lock you out the fucking full game as well and go, well, you died in the demo. So you can't, yeah, exactly. You can't even yeah. play it. Fucking Capcom. Oh, yeah. Mad but, yeah, fucking cunts. Mental. Yeah, they are mad backwards cunts, to be fair. For doing that. So that's Resident Evil. I mean, it can, it can stay in free for me. Yeah, free. Yeah, I'm hyped for it, definitely. And it's... When is this next? It's like a couple of weeks now, isn't it? Yeah, May, it's not, not long. Mean, so I think. But, not um, long whatsoever. Looking uh, forward to that, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think the top five can leave. Like I said, I've called off on Mass Effect simply because... You know, I'm, I'm most likely to be playing Resident Evil by then. Maybe one other game, which we'll get to, um, which could push Resident Evil yeah. back at some point. But the only the other thing that's called me on it as well is that EA, okay, so it will it will end up on Game Pass six to nine months oh. down the line. Oh, that's it'll, true. It'll be one of those jobbies. So disaster. Do I need to be paying full whack for free games that are? Fantastic, great, one of the best trilogies ever made in my view. But I'm pretty sure I can wait to play those again, like another few months, and not have to, not have to fucking pay for them. So that's the only thing that's called me on it. It's not really anything to do with the game. Although I saw a, a new side by side, um, like comparison, and in some areas it looked worse, which concerned <laughs> me. Yeah, like they've lightened a lot of the areas up. I guess to show off, I don't know, new te textures or whatever, but mm. it didn't look as as good as I perhaps thought it was going to be. But I, I, I like some of the changes they've mentioned around Mass Effect 1, trying to bring it more yeah, into 2 and 3. So that's, say, one. that's one I'm more intrigued about, one. That's the one that was... I that's... had a fine playing it back in the day. I didn't really think any different of it, but going back to it, good Lord. Mm. Good Lord. Yeah, that's concerning now. I just didn't even think about that, about the EA... Strike a deal. No, so that will it will be on there. So it kind of makes sense to not commit. Just so I can hold off. I've been waiting what like in ten years for this, so I can wait yeah. ten more months. I think for for Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I know a lot of that. people are excited by it though. Um, so we'll leave those five alone for now. Gotham Knights yeah. is the big one because that's been kicked yeah. out of twenty twenty one into twenty twenty two. It's one of your ones that you wanted up the list. I mean, is that oh. going to get? Is it going to get dropped off the list altogether or just bumped it could, down? Because this. It, don't know. Well, we know. No, I don't know. It's, di it's definitely going to go down because. Oh, so I'm not looking. I'm looking at the list on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not texting. Not texting or looking at nudes. Again. It's. Um, again, it. Yeah, it's. It will go down, but I feel. We know more about it than, say, Fable yeah. or the Callisto Protocol because yeah. we've seen more. We've seen gameplay. Um, we don't know really how those two are going to function. We have good no. guesses. But, so that's still increasing hype. But the fact now that, yeah, we're... Um, we know that's not coming until next year, so we haven't even got to think about that game now for another eight months at least. Yeah. That does. <laughs> that is, yeah. That is a cost. So, shall we dump it? I'm just having a look where. Okay, it's, it's your baby, really, this one. Mm. I'm looking at sort of only a few places down. Yeah, there, there, there it is. So, I'm um, not looking at 
everything else. Yeah, <laughs> uh, for the next one, because we do live stream this mostly, I will set up a hall, actually, as he's producing the episode today, will set up a nice overlay with these lists so, we, so okay. people that are watching can see it. Yeah. So he will do that for the next one, <clears throat> which will probably be after E3. Free. Well, there is no E3, isn't there? So there'll be something there. So I'm thinking maybe drop it. Yeah. Kind of down That's to. Good. Certainly down to the. Don't know, the final quarter. You give me a. You give me a number. Uh, Fifteen. Put it there. So above or below Beyond Good and Evil. To above. Above that. Because the fifteenth is going down as well. <laughs> That's, all getting, that's all getting pushed down. Yeah. Right. That's that. So any that other way. any others that need dealing with uh, Hogwarts Legacy is probably another one. another one. Yeah, that's another one that can pretty much come off. I think. Oh. If that's yeah, because we're not thinking about that. Like, it, I'm interested in it as an RPG. Um, I'm not overly amazed by like the franchise. You know, I've watched all the films or not, but I am quite intrigued by the game. However, we haven't been given a new date, just 2020. So. Fuck the fucking wizards. Get them off the list for now. I feel like there's another one we could... Or that, maybe another two we could stick on the list. Yeah. So, yeah. Paul says it looks fucking shit, so we'll get rid of it. I yeah. say get that off. It's too far down to be still staying, I reckon. Yeah, though, yeah. so Gotham Knights and Hogwarts are the ones where something had happened. The others yeah. that are on there, like Hellblade, I don't think we think we really expect that. In <laughs> well, we know it's going to be... It, where they've been? Sweden? They've been, no, Iceland. <laughs> Iceland. <that> was... <laughs> they've been messing around in Iceland. So, But those were kind of up on the list just on pedigree, really. So it's, it's not like we've got any negative news, so they won't be moved. That leaves us with three spaces to play with and get some new games in. Now, we don't have to use these spaces. It would be a disgrace if we didn't, really. We'll, we'll probably get kicked off the air. But one thing I think we said, and this will keep coming up, is especially this year, and this list isn't restricted to just this year, but it has a knock-on effect. There ain't a lot fucking coming out. We picked the this worst year. year to start this. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fuck all. Fucking 29. No, when was that really good year? Was it 2017? 2017. Shit. They were all good. They were all, all good. They were all good. And then this year's just been it's a, it's a no. disgrace. That is true. It, it is an absolute disgrace. But there's, there's free space up for grabs that we're going to try and fill today and get some new entries on. Hogwarts Hogwarts binned off. It's been punished for Trouble. having negative... Um, stories coming out for, for release dates and whatnot. Did you take Rise off? Uh, yeah, Rise has come off, yeah. Right, so that's it. Has there's, there's anything else come out since? No, that's no, it. Had, so, yeah, so on our, on our previous entries, we had Hitman, which came out, which was yep. a position of seventh. That came out and was, was decent. The Medium, that was a position of 16. That's cool. obviously come out. And then Monster Hunter Rise, that ended up on ninth. Um, when we when we added that in, so that's the three games that have come out, uh, an average kind of open critic score of eighty three. So cool. not a terrible haul if you were going to put these games on a fantasy gaming list. Um, and there's there's stuff that we missed and didn't have on the list at all. So Little no. Nightmares Two, Outriders, Super Mario Three D World, and Bowser's Fury, Persona cool. Five Strikers, and Near Replicant, which has only just come out. Um, and it takes two. That, that and, even... Oh yeah, well, yeah, we completely missed it. Takes two. I don't think we even sure. talked about it. <laughs> I don't think we did. No, and I said this when I was talking to Agcock about it because me and him played through it. Like that was a poor marketing job, I think. Yeah, but it didn't look interesting at all. I had no idea that it was going to end up being as good as it was. And I well, did what... that that other one sell well? Um, the way out. It's okay, but not like. Not like... Well, like. At... At what's called, he was like, he, he became a bit of a meme, that fella that made it, didn't he? I forget his name mm. now. Uh, with his Ferris. Ferris with his quote about fuck the Oscars. Yeah. So I thought off the back of that, that might have boosted his. Give us a fucking boost. Give us a fucking boost. And yeah, after seeing reviews and listening to your pod, I was like, cool, we have missed a stinger there. Yeah, but I, I blame EA. Poor, yeah. poorly marketed. No, really, the reviews kind of saved it. In yeah, the end. get but, it on Game Pass. It will that, again. That will come to Game Pass probably within the next twelve months. So we're completely laughing there. Mm. So I think for me, no. the big game that could get added onto this list and is in prime position now 
thanks yep. to some very Clever. late in the day previews, which which came last week, final previews um, for Returnal. Now, cool. obviously, it's only going to be on the list for four days because it will be coming out Friday. But cool. it wasn't. It didn't make our list to start with. Um, I wasn't cool. too hot on it. I was like, I don't really get what this is. I, I kind of like what it looks like, but I don't really know what it is. They're asking for seventy UK pounds. Housemark, whilst great developers with some some great pedigree, I don't really love their games too much. And this felt like a bit of a, a stretch. But particularly the the previews that we saw last week it's got me hyped now where it could it could even get purchased on a day one if then reviews come in there's no real disaster with it or or problems so uh, for me it's an easy candidate to put on the list it'll be the shortest run of any game on here but it mm. needs to have its merit because once it comes out it'll get a little star next to its name to say it was on the list and i that's think that's what they, i think that's what house mark care about is getting that star that's it alan able. loves stars so Merit, a kes merit. Yes, a kes. What are those other things? You get a merit, and if you got four oh, or five, you got, them, you got credit. Five. Oh, yeah, that's it. Credit. Yeah. Was there one up from that? <laughs> Could you get five credits and something yeah, five else? Credits. You get a length in from fucking Abel. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Hall, no. He got. He even got plenty of credits. He was a little prefect. Boffing. He prefect. was. I think he was a prefect, wasn't he? Yeah. Also, it was I to be fair, but. Well. Paul was proper boff, so he, he would have got loads of merits and credits. Yeah. And um, I don't know if there was a step up after that. Oh, I can't remember to get. I fucking. Get to, I can't remember. Kenner is on there already, Hall. Kenner's. Oh, 19th it was. Yeah. Um, Headwork Teachers Award, year seven. Yeah, I, mean. I, think um, was, I think it was in the top 4% for maths or something. Some bullshit cool. stat that it'll come out with. Elden Ring, oh yeah, that's a good point. Elden Sorry. Ring's not on the list either. So we'll get to these, but for now, Returnal. Returnal, yeah. See, yeah, I, I said to you, I texted you, didn't I? I said, to be honest, when I first saw this game, I was like, uh, to, mm. to end jobs, not interested. Um, God, in Europe. Um, and... <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> and yeah, I weren't really interested. It was... It felt like it was just another one of these games where, what is it like this death loop type of thing where it's just going to be a continuous cycle? I was like, ah, oh, do you know what? I'm not really interested. Yeah. And, and then the sheep I am, I watch these new previews. Yeah. I'm like, oh, blimey! Look at this gameplay, Metroid. Yeah, um, they said Metroid. Um, Metroid Five. Hades. Hades um, vibe. With, with an alien aesthetic. And I was like, right. right. That doff tickle the bollards. That does. That does. <laughs> so, yeah, I've watched a lot of that stuff. It does look really good. The, the trouble is, is that £70 price tag. I found it for 60 somewhere. Even that, like, though. I mean, it's, putting aside the £10 or $10, wherever you uh, are, uh, price hike from, from Sony's first party offerings... It, if this was just the, the price it was last gen, which would have been RRP sixty or whatever, this yeah. still feels expensive. I don't know why. It's just I think it's just Especially... because House Marks games previously, yeah, had been, had been budget jobbies. Well, that uh, what was that fucking game? What was the D one day one game? Um, Rezo Gun? No, no, no. The PlayStation Five. Um, the one that was shit. It was like sword. God, Godfall. Oh yeah, it. yeah. I saw yeah. that the other day for like twenty five quid. Yeah, <laughs> that was yeah. seventy like four months ago. Yeah, rumor yeah. has it that's coming to PS4 at some point. So that's not the next cool. only title. Good riddance. But yeah, yeah right. so I don't know. Yeah, it, it looks really good, and like you said, it ain't fuck all much. Well, I suppose you got what's it called, uh, Village. But you mm. know, these, these Resi games are like seven hours long, so that. Well, the thing I've heard again going back to Village is that it's going to be a big boy. Oh, really? Yeah. I just that's what I'm hearing down the grapevine. That oh, imagine that thirty hours of pure jump scares. That would be a bit too much. That's the trouble. Well, Resi Four was long. That wasn't. That wasn't. Yeah, that's true. That was a longer one, wasn't it? Seven was like dirt slow. Uh, I think yeah. six was as well. Six and five. Five was about like, twelve hours. Yeah. Six was about seven hours. Yeah, I think. 12 is kind of a sweet spot for most games, really, but 
Mm. Then you go. got Creed, 200 hours. Fucking hell. Yeah. Bit much. Sick note. Where we put but, Returnal then? Does it breach the yeah, top five? Well, <laughs> I'll happily sacrifice Mass Effect if you don't want Ratchet and Clank to be affected. I don't think Resi should be bumped out there, but... No. I'm still quite hyped for Mass Effect. Like, I, I know, that does hinder it knowing that, yeah, it could They're be 200 free... hours each. <laughs> yeah, they are, to be yeah, fair. I do really eight. want to go back to them because I haven't played them since the X360 days. So it would be Can't nice. Play them on PC. You can well, play them again. I don't think I ever did play any on PC. No, I didn't. The rightful way, maybe. Personally, for me, it'd go sick. Fucking so, hell. What do you want? Do you want it to break that up? I want Mass Effect to be punished for putting too much <laughs> lighting in. Yeah, um, that's true. It's like mm. one DLC that's not coming as well, and everyone's going, oh. Yeah. I can't remember what it was now. I think it was two. Was it two? I was oh, going to say. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon? Lock five? You can if you want. Is it, well, I'm... people are saying now, is it day one? And I was like, if if on yeah. Thursday the reviews drop and it's high 80s, breaching the 90s, that's it. It's, it's a slam dunk for me because they're... Yeah. The, the, I don't. I didn't really know too much about it, and now we've got the previews out that give a little bit more of insight. If it's the narrative's anywhere near as good as Hades, and it, it follows a similar sort of format, I'm going to be all over that. Yeah. But Mass Effect is a juggernaut. In the interest of being somewhat diplomatic, and because it's coming on late, there is definitely a all oh, it's it's new information where we might overhype it and put it too high. <laughs> yeah, it, six is probably fair. In a six, six, it comes out and it goes gets a four out of ten. Well, oh, that's the thing as well. It could just be wind and piss that they've fucking, <laughs> you know, they've put on there. So it's not yeah. it's not a slam dunk, which is, is, is highly possible. But it will stay on there for four days or whatever it is. <laughs> wind and piss. It could be. I mean, it fucking cyberpunk previewed well. Look at this oh thing. yeah, that's true. Yeah, disgusting. Yeah, it was very good previewing. It was. And yeah, it has a lot of people hired, a lot more people on board. Yes. Certainly got us. <laughs> yeah, stick it sick for then. Get that in. Yeah, sick if it's gone. Yeah, that's fine. I'll let that off. I don't think yeah. the others are going to. Another thing, actually, looking at Ratchet and Clank, I it's not a, it's not a direct sequel to the 2016 game. It, it follows on from the 2013 one. Cool, blimey. So I don't know what they're doing there. That's sort of put me off oh, it a little bit. Yeah, that's annoying. There was a film as well, wasn't there? Yeah, that was pretty much what the reboot was in 2016. It was almost... It was the same story, pretty much. Cool. Two more spots. So if anyone cool, in the man. chat's got stuff, we'll, we'll definitely consider them. Now, so you like... Go on. Clarky said about Elden Ring. Clarky has said about Elden Ring. The one thing I would say about Elden Ring was it didn't make the cut last time. Was all we, it, has all, it, all we it, saw was a screen, but since then we have had leaked trailers showing right. running horses across fields and perhaps a full open world. Yeah, there was some leak, wasn't there? Mm. Um, there'd been no mention of a 2021 date at all or anything, is there? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Amazon puts a place. Yeah, for it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it ain't good enough. No, so Dark Souls with horses. Yeah, I mean... You know, like there will be hype for it. It's a fucking, uh, it's a decent game. It will be a decent game because of the pedigree and just the fact that that slops on there, Martin. After he's it'll take twenty even... years though, he'll be dead by the time he gets it out. <laughs> Sits there writing fucking about dragons, and then he's like, right, I'll get one of these games in. <laughs> FIFA twenty twenty two says Sutton. Yep. <laughs> Ain't getting on the list, is it? No, that's not, unfortunately. New Pokemon Snap's nope. not getting on. Oh, the, actually, yeah, the oh, new Pokemon yeah. game is a good shout from paper. Um, so that's... Is that the new one? The Was it Arcadis or whatever it was called? The open Pokemon. world one? That's 22, isn't it? Yeah, but I want... Yeah, that's... Pokemon that's Legends are, are... Legends? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Arcadias! Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a good one. Um, but you also have, which is this year... Is the remake of Pearl and Diamond? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. In Don't the put arm. that on the list. They don't need to be playing old Turk like that. Like Reimagined. That, they're not going to make this next short list. Of... I mean, there is some pedigree up here. But, yeah. Um. 
Mm, they weren't even the good ones. Well, that's rightly said, to be fair. Yeah. Tokyo, Ghostwire Tokyo. For some reason, I feel like that game is just doomed. Didn't like the lead woman just like she was like brilliant at E three. She just came gone on, now, dead. Sacked. She just, just fucking left it. She went no. Nope. Alan sacked too, but that's way too hype. Get her off my stage. And that was it. She's gone. So there is. So there is. Yeah, some twittle wat Warhammer three. Um, <laughs> Warhammer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, I don't. That <laughs> Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines two. We spoke cool. about a lot. I we did put it on, but that's gone down the shit pan. And um, Halo Infinite is on the list. Prince of Persia, Halo. Prince of Persia is oh. not on the list because it looked like oh, fucking hey. dog shit. Or Diablo, Diablo Four. I know these boys don't like a Diablo. But well, I, I played Diablo Three and it put me off. <laughs> it's hard for it to get on the list, unfortunately. I liked it, but fair play. Um, yeah. It is difficult to put any of these on Overwatch too. That's in the bins now. Fucking well, now Jeff's gone. That's Jeff Chat. Another gone, doomed I project. I'm sure it'll be fine. But <laughs> my view on Overwatch Two is, I don't need another Overwatch. I'm happy with the original Overwatch. Although they did say or suggest that it could have a campaign, which is kind cool. of what I want out of that crap. Skyward Sky Sword Sky. remaster. I'd rather stuff that up my ass. <laughs> um, but I ain't got time for average Zelda games. Like, that's going to upset a few people. Oh, was there Mario Golf? Cool. Yeah, Mario Golf's on here. Super Rush. I might just put that in the top five to annoy people. I mean, bump off like Elden Ring and and Zelda for Mario Golf. Super Rush. <laughs> Avowed. Avowed's on there. We got Avowed on there. Yeah. So we're laughing. Right. It's, a, it's four or so games that's been. Plonked on there, so let's go through those. So, got back for blood, which I've got from the, oh, yeah. the bins. Um, don't What's know that about that fucking, one. I haven't got no release date, but that fucking Division Last of Us hybrid, uh, the last day or something in it. Oh. I don't, I just finished out Rise of Kings. I don't need more loot. Oh. Is it another looter shooter? I think so. Looks oh. like that. You know, did you show in the video? I think I showed you it. I probably didn't watch no, it. Probably didn't. The day before, class. Day says. before, that's the one. Mm. Day before. But again, no release date, so we don't know. It might just be a thought. It could be, it could just be an idea that someone's, <laughs> that someone's chucked the trailer out for. Monkey tennis? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. So, I don't know. This... Right. Back for blood. Back for blood, yeah. No, oh, I... back for blood. <laughs> it's made by Russians. Back for blood. Is that the one that's Left for Dead? Is it the OG Left for Dead people? Yeah. That's been delayed, but no more Heroes Three no. getting the bin. That game looks fucking dreadful. <laughs> that's no good. Adcock loves that shit. Stalker 2. Rapists. They're banned. <laughs> uh, again, more Russians. That is, yeah. <laughs> no, enemy, enemy lines. Um, back for blood. Hmm. They two spaces, don't forget, so we can't waste them on two. I'm surprised you're not into that one, what Hall's just said. Age of Empires 4. Does that tickle your nipples? No. No. <laughs> no. Not a chance. Thank you, and Conquer. I'm not playing it. Red Alert. Red Alert 1 and 2. Yuri's Revenge expansion. Dan. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Right. Let's sort this shit. So, has Returnal's gone on. How Returnal's many gone on. It's gone in sixth. Oh, yeah, hasn't it? Of course. Cool. Straight up the list. We got three more, did you say? Got Far two, Cry more, two more spaces. Oh, two more spaces. Far Cry is in, in very oh, high. Far Cry is in at 12. 12, 12, 12. Back, what, what we got then? So we got Back for Blood, 
Chivalry Two. No, that Chival- does look. To be fair, Chivalry Two doesn't look too bad. Like it's a Chivalry with Timbers. Um, big multiplayer game. It's basically like Battlefield, but in medieval time. Cool. That's that's huge. It looks quite goofy in that, but it's not. It doesn't look terrible, but. I ain't even seen the new logo yet, but then there's a new battlefield. Chuck that in. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Rainbow Six Quarantine. That got chucked nah, in. That's fucking around. dog shit. Yeah. I mean, the chats run dry. I'm gonna ignore them now. <laughs> they, 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 to be fair, put a few, like Pokemon that's Legends. I'm just gonna call it now, and so that's gonna go on. Right. Like, yeah. Really if, like I, if you really like it or not, that's going on there. Yeah, it's gonna have to go. In- down below because it's it'll go in at number one right above <laughs> God of War New World is that that Amazon game that paper's Definitely been banging not, on no, the... <laughs> no, he, he, only, he hasn't even got the staying power for Valheim so he's not letting New World go on a hype list because I ain't <laughs> it ain't getting looked at <sighs> didn't Amazon bid it or they, they no they binned a few of this I don't, they binned a lot of stuff but that's still coming apparently that's still, oh god paper still still paying for the premium of that he loves it. Yeah, he loves it. Um, Pokemon right. Legends. Oh, Pokemon Legends. Oh, yes. Oh, Chaos, oh. whatever you call it. Oh, up the arse. Legends up the arse. Still going on. Chuck a number on. <laughs> yeah, chuck it on. Uh, this could be the Pokemon look. game that everyone's wanted. Well, this is the thing. It could be a lump of shit because it looked like it ran like donkey piss. Where's Halo Infinite on your list? Now. It is now 13th. Right, Chuck Pokemon at 14th. 14th, so it's above Gotham Knights, which is fine. I think we're okay. Yeah. And above, beyond Good and Evil 2, the Callisto Project, yeah. Fable and Kenner. I, I haven't seen enough of all that. Kenner, oh, I, don't know, I feel like Kenner should be higher up. The thing is, he got pushed again, didn't it? So I think um, it's going to get another hype cycle, and I think it might be able to climb. Because I, I that last trailer we got, or whatever it was, where it looked incredible mm. did look really good um and that's that's craft so that was that's bottom bottom of my list on here the old one before yeah. we took stuff off um that's it pokemon yeah. legends in that's gonna that's gonna be in there for the long haul mm. bio mutant i feel like that game's been like Around being developed years. yeah i remember that being like announced on the 360 Everwild, is that what was that Everwild? That's that. That's that. Uh, yeah, Xbox game that looks about sixteen years away. I think it might be rare. Actually, I can't remember. Yeah, is it rare? Oh yeah, it might be actually. Back from the dead. Trouble with these. Trouble with some of the stuff that's getting chucked out is that they are just screens. They just, <laughs> yeah. they get, they're, they're not real things. They're just two. Nah. I mean, you can say that about a lot of the things on these lists. But... I was going to say. Well, we've got Avowed. Senna's Senua's Saga, I suppose. You got the... Ragnarok. Wow. We've had a tr- we've had a logo. That's it, basically. But we have a previous game because these are all sequels, right. pretty much. All of them are almost all sequels. So that's yeah. you've got a reference. Vow, new IP. We got tiny yeah. trailer. Seen a lovely trailer of some gameplay. To be fair, that is down on the list. That's what's that? Length tent. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've not seen anything really of Biomutant or Everwild. Everwild, I saw a lot of hippies talking about it. This is the thing, they've all got, all this stuff's gone quiet, so it's not going to get on here. It's, it's so the big it, ones are, we've seen, free. yeah, we need E3 to get the thing, but maybe Back for Blood can go on. Bloody, what, ahead of like Elden Ring? Well, I've seen Back for Blood, there's been a, what's it called, you know, Elden Ring, not seen Leaps. fuck all yeah, is salmon fuming, Clarky fuming, you can upset people. <laughs> what do you reckon? Should... Is this one more space? Has thing, things got, gone on in the arcade? We have one more space, unless you want to put. I don't think I, this is the thing. I don't. This is the the common theme. There isn't really a great deal that's got yeah. enough information out there. I'd say that's worth going on. Back yeah. for blood. I mean. That's probably the game that's we've seen. Yeah, it's not one that I'm overly hyped for. It's just the game that's I've seen the most stuff. It's had a, a like a beta in it or whatever, mm. alpha, whatever it was. Uh, what else has been mentioned? You know, Chivalry. Yeah, I feel like these Master Race boys. 
You have chucked a lot of shit out. The chat have ruined the, chat have ruined the podcast. They've, um, I don't normally look at them, to be fair. No. But they've spoiled it. To be fair, those games that have been mentioned, I completely forgot about. There's a couple, yeah, for sure, but there's mostly shit from them. Skyward's, oh, like, I don't know. You get to decide this last one, so I'm going to hang this on your head. Cool. What am I more hyped for? What about Indiana Can't... Jones? Screen. Cool, indie. Screen chat. See, again, I think we talked about this last time. If this is a Xbox's fucking... Their attack on um, Naughty Dog, and they're going to give us a fucking uncharted this game... <laughs> Then it might be a text adventure for all we know. <laughs> Disco Elysium style. Can't polish it. No, it is. Kenner's on there. Kenner's yeah. done. Kenner is involved. For me, it's out of Mario Golf and Skyward, maybe. Oh. Yeah, a real stinker. So Prince of Persia is not going to get a second chance. Biff will be livid. Biff ain't even watching. How many nah. Nintendo games we got on this list of 20? Mm, None. <laughs> Apart from Wild. Oh, Breath of the Wild. Now yeah. Pokemon. Got two. Oh, two. Got two. Two. Right, let's... Sh- Goods Outlords. Never heard of it. Nintendo Weebs. Yeah. Hmm. I stop looking at the chat now, they're banned. Right. <laughs> Mario Golf or Skyward Sword? I feel like Mario Golf is going to be fun, a real fun to play. Mar- uh, uh, what's his name? Zelda will be a bigger game. And it's. I'll be interested in it because um, I didn't play it on what's it called. I bought it for Wii and never played it because that's fucking motion shit. But <laughs> people do call it like the worst Zelda, so... <laughs> <laughs> don't know stick Mario go with Mario Golf Christ Super Rush <laughs> Super Rush I really have stick that right at the bottom right at the bottom stick it there yeah because yeah I'm more hyped for Kenner oh yeah <laughs> so what's the bottom four bottom four is the Callisto Protocol Fable Kenner and Mario Golf Super Rush now I'd say Kenner's above beyond for me. Oh, yeah, I think Kenner should be moved up. Should Mary Golf get moved up above some of these? Oh, screens? yeah, that's true. Well, well, we ain't putting put Tiger. <laughs> well, you're coming at me with all these fucking Master Race tours. They're Most poor. Master Race only games aren't good enough. No, nah, they're too. That's the sh- that's giving me the- shivery. That's the quote. <laughs> they're not up to snuff. They're all they're all in early access for one. Yeah. Um, although Disco Elysium was PC only for a while, and that was excellent. Mm. Right. So we've got a twenty now, then, haven't we? We've got a twenty. So if you want to move Kenner or Mario Golf off the foot of the table, because they're first to go. Yeah. Goes Kenner's. Forward. Kenner's got to go up. Kenner's got to go. Can it go above Gotham Knights? Yeah, just under Halo, I'd say. Yeah. Put it there. Let's put it right there. Did a little bit. Easy as that. Full aimf. Full aimf. Upgrade for them. Uh, I don't feel like, there needs to be any more shuffling. Nah. Um, yeah, that's pretty set in its ways. Right. Where's uh, Gotham sitting? It is 16th. 16. Right, yep. I think that's pretty set. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Right, so there here's the go. final list. Right, Number hold one. on. Let me get a fucking notepad right up in here. Get a spreadsheet. Oh, I don't play that game. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't play that shit. <laughs> go. So, number one, this is the, the hype list update. So these are this, the new 20 right. games God of War Ragnarok. Yeah. Number two, Horizon Forbidden West. Number three, Risen Evil Village, stroke Risen Evil 8. Number four, Ratchet and Clank, A Rift Apart. Number five, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Number six, Returnal. Number seven, 
The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 or the next Zelda game it's set in that world number 8 Final Fantasy 16 number 9 Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 number 10 Dying Light 2 number 11 Avowed number 12 Far Cry 6 that's criminal number 13 Halo Infinite number 14 Kenna Bridge of Spirits number 15 Pokemon Legends Arceus or whatever you fucking pronounce that someone help me out with that next time number 16 Gotham Knight number 17 Beyond Good and Evil 2 number 18 The Callisto Protocol number 19 Fable number 20 Mario Golf Super Rush (laughs) propping everyone up yeah I've done that purposely. There we go. Right, I've got the list on the PC. No more looking at phones. List done. Right. So yeah, I'm happy with that. To be fair. Yep. I mean, we'll, I, mean, I think the next one will be post E3 because it should be new stuff that's coming in the next eighteen months, two years. That might you know put their fucking mark on here. Um, and there'll be some stuff that's been delayed or dropped off, or we might see. I don't know. We might see avowed in action and go. That looks like fucking donkey shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to E3 this year. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, Just be... because we're starved of releases this year, so it'd be nice to see what's coming down the pipe. Mm. Also, the see what else has been fucking delayed as well. That's the trouble. Yeah, there will be some sickness delays. But yeah, I'll be we're supposed to have Far Cry of 6 by now. That's what has happened to that? It's just dropped off the radar. There was two, two Ubisoft games and they were like, right, we've, we're going to delay that. They just completely chucked it. Um, chucked yeah, was that? Uh, was that in Prince of Persia, wasn't it? Was it them two? Both got delayed? Is that, mm. that Ubisoft? Yeah, it's isn't cool. it? I wasn't listening, sorry. Ubisoft, Far Cry and Prince of Persia. I think they mm. both got delayed at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince of Persia got shit on basically when people saw it not even on the list no well when you get crapped on that badly you have to move it back (laughs) yeah to be honest i i weren't even that amazed by the original game oh biff is living here in that how that's getting getting remastered copies i'll clip it clip it send him um so yeah i'm happy with the list some good ones on there Yep. trouble is yeah we've got a lot on it that are just titles and we don't know but that's the fun of it because so we can this is a shift in list that can change yeah anyway no that's the thing is dlc allowed cuphead dlc well Not one allowed. cuphead dlc would never get on there so <laughs> let's just get that on there um but yeah, DLC. I think today. I think I think the example you said last time was what about if The Last of Us did a little right yeah. expansion thing? I was like, I, I think they would be put on there. But to be honest, DLC these days, like you don't really, other than Creed, yeah, you don't true, really yeah. get it. And I'll tell you what, none of that Creed stuff's going to get on here either. That's that's not. Cool. Right for the Drew is livid. Well, what's that about? <laughs> right for the Drew. That don't sound like England. Oh, right. Yeah. Um. Look after those. Yeah, so yeah. No, I think that's a good list. I think we're we're set. Yeah, and look, when when E three announces, I'm sure things like Diablo Four, Elden Ring, we'll see more, more. of these games and that's well, when look at, what's it called? Returnal. We didn't it weren't even on the list. It's now sixth. It's now sixth and it should be top of the of the fucking blocks, but I was banned from putting it there. <laughs> um but so things do and can and do change. And E3 will be the big one. I'm expecting a lot of games to be pushed. I'm expecting stuff like Beyond Good and Evil 2 and we don't see anything of that because it's fucking vaporware to be just taken off the list all outright and replaced mm. with things like Elden Ring, a Diablo. I mean, if Metroid 4 ever exists, if a Starfield trailer gets dropped, I mean, cool. Dragon Age 4, yep. Bayonetta 3, if that comes back from the dead. Fucking There's all this no, stuff yeah. that's just sitting there lurking. Metroid. We just need to see something of it. Yeah, and then they'll be back in action, but that's that. That's the update to the the hype in this. The first one we've done, and we'll be back yeah. post E three to to update it again and um, annoy the chat with our, our poor decision that, making. We'll get some more games like Mario Golf on there. Maybe we even get. Yeah, what's that? Hot Shots Golf is that coming out? Can we put that on there? Is that yeah, what's, what's, what was that other game? Um, the Golf Club. Golf 20, Club game. Yeah, golf story. There was that sports story. Got a sports story. Yeah, I mean again. Top 
10 that is i'm not even going to say sports story won't be on there because i, <laughs> to I be like fair, that story. Was, yeah, that was a good 20 hour slogger <laughs> yeah, that was uh very long indeed slogger but that's that that's the gaming hype list update for april 2021 okay. or, or this or the first update we'll be back post d3 to do it again yep. and uh i'm I expecting big changes there like you, when when God of War is inevitably delayed, does that get it knocked off top spot? Does a, a, does a gameplay demo of of Horizon Forbidden West put it up onto the starting grid? Returnal, Mass Effect, Resident Evil will all be out by then, so there's new slots opening up. Final Fantasy 16, does that get a, get a look in? Yeah. Oh fuck, I forgot about that other game. What was that? What the what remake? Was that no, the game. Oh yeah, we didn't even mention that. No. Well, the thing of the, I'm looking forward to to, to integrate. Um, but I've not played the, the, the OG one, but not no. not like tickling my balls about it. So, What was the game that everyone thought, well, I certainly thought it was Final Fantasy 16, and it was like a, it was called like Project something, and then it got a new name. Oh, yeah, Project Athia or something. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah, and then it got a new name. I can't remember what it's called now. Yeah. That'll that... be another E3 one, I think. Yeah, because that was just a... It was called Project Athena. That's it. Um, oh, for Forspoken, that was Forspoken, it. yeah. Again, sometimes the names scare me. And that, <laughs> but again, if that, that makes an appearance, there's tons of stuff on there. This is a, a holding pattern, as, as you will. So a bit of a pointless episode if you sat through that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no apology to wasting your time. And all those cretins in the chat, take that. Married Golf makes it on there and beats out the likes of Elden Ring and No More Heroes 3, which were getting touted. So that's what we can do, wind up the best fans in the world. Anyway, <laughs> let's call it off. Yep. If you're watching or listening, thanks for your time. And ta-da. This was a Dimp Digital production.